so guys it is harvest time and look look at this look at this nest i don't really want to go and be an intruder but we have a nest here i don't know if you all could hear the birds chirping but look at these guys look at those look so many cherries like wow we take these things for granted right these are wealth we normally as human beings we normally think that being rich is a financial status i mean it is to some degree but things like you can get up in the mornings and rip something from your yard to eat to drink yeah this is richness as well and i'm so blessed and thankful to be able to do so like i remembered guys when we first planted this um tree don't mind these we're gonna pick some cherries so we're gonna shake off the branches it's just too much to pick one at a time remember the video I made under the cherry tree with different um, hairstyles if you remember comment down below hairstyles under the cherry tree something like that I believe like that Tom it was okay guys so this part is called the shaking of the cherry trees let me get my stretching out all the time <laughs> why are you laughing why are you laughing it's not as easy as it looks yeah Next time, you all need to come and help me. Because the back, the knees, the back is not backing and the knees not knee.
Ada nada kantin ada ni. This is it. Still have lots more cherries, lots more cherries on the tree. But for now, this is it. The sun is sunning outside. The sun is hot. So we're so grateful. Like the simple things. The simple things are blessings, man. It really is. Like wow. I remember when we first when I first planted this cherry tree. This was literally this was literally the first fruit tree that we went ahead and plant on the land when we first let me get a good angle. This was literally the first fruit tree. The first plant tree anything of the of that sort. Um, after we purchased the land guys and it's a blessing it is a blessing thank you God of the universe for such blessings oh my like we ought to give thanks yeah we ought to give thanks and praise thanks and praises you guys could taste it hmm and it's sweet you know sweet 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 Thank you, Father, for your blessings. See you all in the next clip. Peace. Okay, guys, so Hobby is about to get some fish cleaned. You call those A yellow snapper? Yellow snapper. Today is just basically getting things done. Yeah, so. That is it. We are at the backyard as you can see. Well, you all seen it from the previous backyard tour and cleaning that I did. So, yeah. As you all can see, mommy, we have a little compost heap going on there. Shout out to the subscriber that told me to use the dead leaves and so forth to do my compost heap, which I knew of, but you know, I lit I totally forgot. So thank you for highlighting that. Um, so that is what you see we're doing now. And yeah. So how much? That's a hundred dollar worth, babe. Yes. So guys, this is a hundred dollars worth. Fifteen dollars a pound. Fifteen dollars a pound. Unclean. Me personally, <laughs> when hobby traveled, I literally would buy it, but buy them clean because nobody got time to clean any fish. But you know, when you buy them clean, you get less when you buy them versus when you buy them unclean. So that's what hundred dollars worth of fish gives you here in Antigua. Well, it based on the type of fish as well, I should say because you can end up going and buy what's the other fish name babe the one that we love my my yeah, yeah but like my my you may get way less right yes you will get way less especially if it's filleted. if it's filleted and so forth and we love getting it filleted. but my hobby can lead, can do the filleting part as well so yeah but that is what's up just a sneak peek of the backyard as you can see we're trying to keep up with the dead leaves from the almonds. So yeah, guys, I'm just giving you all a quick sneak peek of the back. As you can see, it, 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 I mean, the backyard, you'll forever have dry leaves because, I mean, that's life. Um, but it's not as, like, drastic from the last time that you saw it. As you can see, the mango tree, look at that. And we've been getting a lot of rain in Antigua, guys. Like, a lot of rain. It's just that. I didn't have the time to, you know, go around and show you guys some footage, but some places in Antigua really had some bad flooding. And you all can recall the last 
um, video that I did with the top of the backyard when the mango tree was literally that height when it was pruned, pruned and everything and look at it now look at the size of the mango tree could you believe it I mean like you all can see and then you can see the avocado tree there as you can see for as you can see guys so and I will show you guys I have some sneak peeks of some sugar apple and so forth that I will be showing you guys they are quite mature Of course the guava, the guava tree is still doing its thing yeah So guys, I'm in a total different space. I'm not sure if I ever shared this space with you guys before, but this is my basement and I am going to transform this area into something that I've always been dreaming of. Um, yeah, I am excited about this video. Um, as time goes by, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I am going to transform this area into. Yeah, so please come along. And um, if you're new and you're not yet subscribed, please go ahead and press that subscribe button. If you're a silent watcher, please go ahead and leave your positive comments down below. All right, guys. So before we get into it, I'm gonna open these windows here. Get some natural breeze in this area so we have our dish liquid here and we're gonna clean up the sink first and foremost get that cleaned up before we start cleaning our dishes we're going to clean that area 
We're not sure. I'm not sure what is wrong with this four set. Uh, my hobby just changed the hole, so it seems like we're gonna have to get go back to the hardware store to get another hose because the power here it's not it's not even yeah but we're not gonna let this deter us from executing what we set ourselves to do all right we're not going to allow that to happen we're just gonna proceed with what we say we're going to do yeah That's the thing, y'all. Like, let me bring y'all closer. That's the thing about life, yeah? Life will give you a different, different, different challenges, you know? But it's up to us to proceed and don't allow that to deter us, you know? From the important goal or our dreams and aspirations here yeah? i'm gonna put this on here to dry some posters use this have some disinfectant one minute so guys i went ahead and cleaned this area and now i'm going to start washing their dishes so i can allow them to air dry and then after we're done with that part we're gonna go i do have a small fridge here we're gonna clean in here disinfect and everything uh i think it will look rather clean um to have everything instead of exposed on the counter because i do have plans for the counter over here i want to create a little tea area i do love a bush tea a cocoa a caco tea yes i do love a tea so i want to create a little tea area you know so i don't want to have over here if you hear any water guys actually the water like i mentioned earlier it's kind of slow so we're gonna have to head out to the hardware store to get another hose because something is not right with this water the pressure should be way higher than this so um i do have a few pots here as well i'm going to have to get in rid of all these dishes and allowing them to air dry i'm going to wash them as well clean up this area sanitize as well and clean you you guys you guys you guys catch the drip you will see what i'm talking about i'm gonna try to take you guys along with everything that i do it is challenging guys okay guys so the first phase is done i am done with washing of the dishes and now we are going to head to the small fridge down here Uh, we moved the bed to the direction that I wanted and I'm going to use over here as my working area so this is going to be my little store yes I have a bed out of the kitchen section I know the bed is not in the best of um, position we have a reason why we have a bed and we have a small kitchen section with stove and everything because we want it here just to be a hurricane shelter if in case anything like that were to come our way god forbid um so yeah i am going to show you guys exactly i'm going to mop allow it to dry and everything and then i'm going to bring down my furnitures place them accordingly to how i want them and um i guess in the next video you guys will see how i organize downstairs to the tea all right so guys i do hope you guys enjoying this video thus far uh if you do please give me a thumbs up all right guys so this is the space it's nothing big but we're gonna make it work all right hey shaz fam so this concludes today's video to be continued though but i must say i'm tired 
guys this is not as easy as it looks to record to make it make sense you know but i enjoy every bit of it i want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for your continuous support to the newbies i want to say thank you so much for being part of Charles farms i truly really appreciate you and to my royalties thank you so much guys you you, you look thank you and to the silent watchers please go ahead and leave a comment down below all right guys thank you so much for stopping by blessings more life cheers and also remember don't let nothing whatsoever deter you from accomplishing whatever you've set your mind to